welcome back to my channel. Today is a super fun and super important look. Today's look is the top 20 for the NYX Face Awards challenge. The challenge for the top 20 was The Machinist. So I decided to go for this super steampunk kind of look. And a machinist is somebody who works with metals and creates things using metal. So the concept behind my look is that I am kind of like a doll or some kind of... I don't know, I kind of look like a clown. I was going for a doll, but now that I'm done, I'm like, I kind of look like a clown. A cute clown. A real cute clown. It's kind of like a Frankenstein's monster concept. So I had a ton of fun with this. I don't ever do things like this. I don't work with like metallics, shiny kinds of paints, things like that. This is something totally out of my comfort zone and something totally brand new to me. But it was really interesting all the things I came across. It's a very cool concept. Steampunk is like Victorian and futuristic apocalyptic combined together. I had a lot of fun creating it. Like so much fun creating it. More fun than I thought I would have had making this look so it was definitely something new for me but I loved it. So since this is the top 20 challenge for the NYX Face Awards make sure you guys vote for me just like we did last time to get me into the top 20 from the top 30 you will go to faceawards.com and vote for me up to three times a day just like we did Last time, you can do three times a day per email. This voting phase will get me onto the top 12, which is one step closer to the top six and to getting me to LA to compete in the finals. I hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial. It took me a really long time. This took me probably, oh God. Oh, it took me five and a half hours. That's not too bad. Some of my looks have taken me well over seven hours, so five and a half isn't awful, but it's still a long time. So thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you go and vote for me if you want to see me make it onto the next challenge. And I hope you enjoy this super metallic steampunk look. Thanks so much, guys. Okay, so first things first, we're going to be using our Vichy Micellar Water just to cleanse the chest a little bit. I already washed my face, but just to make sure the chest is nice and, you know, ready for some paint, we're going to use that to clear it off. And then I'm taking my Fortifying Skin Booster just to moisturize the face. I'm also using my This Is Everything Balm from NYX and making sure my lips are nice and prepped. For eyebrows, I am covering these brows because I don't think machines have eyebrows. So I'm just using a non-toxic glue stick, covering them up, using my spoolie to lay it flat, and then going back over with a layer of glue to make sure everything is laying flat and you can't see any little bumps. I'm letting that dry, and then I'm going to do a layer of the SFX set with a disposable sponge. And after I set that, I'm going to be using this cream um, peach colored color corrector, and I'm going to lay that over the brows to make sure the darkness is neutralized and color corrected and you can't see my natural brow hairs. Then I'm going to do another layer of the powder using this brush. There's no number to it, but it's just a flat brush. I'm just going to pack that right on top. I'm priming my lids with some eyeshadow primer. I'm going on top of the brows with the primer a little bit as well. At this point, you should look like an alien. Mm-hmm. Then I'm using this NYX white eyeliner. I'm going to be using this to do basically a rough draft of the whole look on my face. I'm just outlining where I want everything. I'm going to be doing it on my face. I'm also going to be outlining everything on my chest as well. I love the white liner because if you make a mistake or want to change something, you can just really wipe it away with your finger and redo whatever you need to do. It's super simple just to kind of fix a mistake. I'm also doing this design as if it's like a big headpiece attached to a human's body. So it's all connected from the chest up. I'm also outlining a circle because we're going to be doing a Roman numeral clock right there. So you probably should have primed your face before you did the outline. I'm doing it after. I'm using the Honey Do Me Up Primer. It's just going to give a little moisture. And then I'm going to go in with my SFX cream colors and I'm going to be putting those in different areas of my face. I'm also outlining some little blush areas like dolls have, so that's what those circles are. 
I'm taking the silver paint first. I used a big brush, like a big dense brush at first, but I decided to go in with my number 28 brush so I can really get in those crevices and along the hairline a little bit easier. And then I took that same brush we used before and packed on my SFX set on top of that. Then I'm going over to the other side of my face. I'm using the gold color and a little bit of brown because I wanted more of a bronzy color, not so like bright gold. So I mixed both of those cream colors together. And then you'll set it just like you did the other side of the face. Now I'm taking my black cream paint and my number 11 brush, which is a little tiny brush, and I'm starting the outline for everything. I just did the one for now, just so I can kind of get an idea of what was going on. And then I'm going to go back to those little circles, those little blush circles, and I'm using my cream colors, my Vivid Bright cream colors in Bad Blood and Glam Rock, and I'm kind of mixing them together. I want a kind of a rose go, excuse me, ooh, a rose gold kind of um, blush tone for that. And then I'm going in with my Sleek and Chic Love You So Mochi palette, and I'm just going to be using these pink colors and setting the cheeks with those colors a little bit, so it gives a little bit more of illumination as well. Going in with my Epic Ink Liner, I'm just outlining those little circles. Now I'm taking a primal color. This is in the shade Hot Black, and I am using my number 34 brush to kind of start dragging the paint um, into the silver side of the face. It gives that kind of effect that metal has when it gets a little bit old or it's a little bit used, you know. Um, it just gives those little sharp lines that metal sometimes have. I don't know how to explain that better than that. I hope you know what I'm talking about. I'm also doing that along the cheeks a little bit, just to give it a more rugged appearance. Then I'm taking my Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean, and I'm starting the eyes. I'm just packing this all over the lid and above the crease a little bit. And then I'm going to start packing on that hot black primal color right on top of it to make sure it's set. Taking my number 32 brush, I'm going to start blending the black up. I'm using this deep purplish kind of gray toned shade in my Warm Neutral Ultimate palette, and I'm just kind of starting the process of blending up. I'm going all the way up to the eyebrow, and then I'm taking some more of that black and just blending everything together. The key to a good smoky eye is just layering and going back and forth and just adding more color here, adding more color there. You know, it's a process. And I'm really winging it out and dragging it out. I want it to be super dramatic. Taking that black bean pencil, I'm putting that in my waterline. And I'm doing it along the lash line a lot as well. And I'm just going to smoke that out a ton also. Just go to town. I'm also using the hot black shade to contour. Just do a normal contour like you usually would. Now I'm taking this That's The Point liner on the dot. It's literally a dot liner, and I'm using this to create the little bolts. I'm just doing it on the silver side of the face, and it creates those perfect circles to make it look like little bolts along the edge there. I'm starting the painting process on the chest. I'm just using gold by itself on this portion, and I'm doing it on my chin, on my neck, on my chest, all over the place, and I'm using that same number um, 28 brush that we use on the face. And then you're going to set it just like you did the upper areas, just doing the same thing, really. And then on the other half of, the, of my chest, I'm going to be using silver again. I'm finishing the outlining process, so I'm using the same black cream color with the same brush, and I'm just outlining all the rest of the areas that I need to with that cream color. You want to make sure it's a pretty opaque line, too. You want to make it pretty thick.
And then I'm starting the shading process the same way we did before, just on these silver portions. I'm not really bringing it into the gold or the bronze. Taking my jumbo eye pencil in milk, I am using this for the clock. I'm just coloring in the clock for now. We're not actually putting the numbers on. I'm just using this pencil and going all over with it. And then I'm taking a brush and I'm just kind of blending it all together. For lashes today, I'm using three pairs of lashes. Yes, I know, super crazy. I am using my double stacked mascara first, of course, for top, oh my gosh, top and bottom lashes. And then I'm going to be using these um, pairs of lashes called Doe Eyes, Corrupt, and Exposed. So I'm using the ones that looked most like doll lashes to me on the top lash line, and I'm stacking them both. And then after I've applied both pairs, I'm adding a little bit more mascara just to make them look a little bit more full and so everything's blended together. And then I'm adding this smaller pair on the lower lash line. I'm not putting it super close to my lash line. I'm leaving a little bit of a space between there. And then you'll add some mascara to those as well. I'm going on to the clock. This was really hard to do, guys. I had to redo it like three times. So I know some of the numbers are not right, but... I tried and I did a dang good job, so I'm sorry if it doesn't read correctly. I didn't want to do it for a fourth time. Now I'm going into this gold and I wanted to make it look really rusty and really old, so I'm using that Bad Blood cream color, the Vivid Brights cream color, and adding some rustiness. And then I took this disposable sponge and tore it apart a little bit and I'm dipping into the brown cream paint and just dotting it all over. I'm also going in with this metallic cream eyeliner. It's a turquoise color, and I am just dotting this all over as well to give more of that rusted, really, really old metal type of look. I'm taking these gears. They are rusted looking like turquoise, and I got them from Michaels, and I'm just using liquid latex to adhere some here and there. I'm just doing it on the gold parts, though. And then I'm also taking that Glam Rock color again, and I am filling in the area above the clock for some decoration. I'm then outlining the clock in that same eyeliner. And I'm doing the little hands for the clock. Um, so I just did the little points and then I went in and added some like little decoration to them because why not? Steampunk's super decorative so I thought why not add some little details. And I'm also doing dots in between each number. Taking my Strictly Vinyl Eyeliner, this is in the shade Hazy, it's like a deep red. I'm using this to create little details in that rose gold area as well. I had to go over the details about two times just to make sure they were nice and opaque. And then I'm going to outline that rose gold area in black paint as well. And I'm also going to shade around it a little bit. I didn't show that part for some reason, but I'm just going to do a little shading so it looks like it's sitting kind of on top of the metal. And then I'm doing little brown and red stripes below the metal because a lot of the stuff I saw for Steampunk, there's a lot of brown and red decor decorations. So, so I thought, why not incorporate that a little bit? And then I'm going to mix together my black eye gloss and my pigment adhesive and this gives a really cool like oily looking substance so I wanted black oil to look like it was dripping from the um, separation of metals so I'm just adding that along my hairline just kind of in random areas and I'm making it look really drippy and goopy. I'm then going in with my liquid suede lipstick this is in the shade kitten heels and I did not like the bright red at first I just didn't like it at all so I went in with the shade cherry skies and I wasn't gonna do like an ombre effect but I ended up just like filling in all my lips with the darker color because I liked it a lot better Then I'm just doing some finishing details on the chest. I'm outlining everything in a black liner. I'm also doing some shading so it looks like it's sitting on top of my skin. I also added some drips from my eyes, the inner and outer corners, from my nose, from my mouth. I just went crazy with the drips. 
And that's it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you so, so much for being so supportive. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed. Please make sure you go to the Face Awards website and vote for me. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Bye.